How's it going, everyone? I'm Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school basketball. Every now and then, I try to feature some NBA stories that are maybe not so known to the average fan. And in this video, I want to cover a Michael Jordan story, actually one of my favorite Michael Jordan stories from the mid-1990s. But before we start with this video, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I would say, let's get right into today's episode. So today's story will be about Michael Jordan and Isaiah Ryder. And in case you don't know Isaiah Ryder, don't worry, I got you covered. Let's have a quick look back on his early NBA career. Isaiah Ryder was born on the 12th of March in 1971, Oakland, California. He was the fifth pick of the 1993 NBA draft class selected by the Minnesota Timberwolves. And even though that draft class was stacked with many future franchise players like Penny Hardaway or Chris Webber, Ryder easily could have been even a higher pick. But what many teams were afraid of was that Ryder was not the easiest person to deal with. But he was still recognized to be an incredible talent. On draft night, Ryder shocked everybody by promising that he would win the NBA slam dunk contest. And what can you say? Well, he wasn't lying. Oh, Ryder, you are one sweet piece of work. Isaiah Ryder getting busy, the more bounce to the house. Yeah. Isaiah Ryder. Well, that brought the crowd to their feet. I do my own thing, throw a little power and do some different things at dunk contest rather than everything everyone else is doing. Here's the local hometown favorite, Isaiah Ryder. Isaiah Ryder had a great impact in his rookie season, giving the struggling Timberwolves a face and hope for the future. He was averaging 16.6 points per game, 4 rebounds and 2.6 assists in his rookie season, making the NBA All-Rookie Team. The next two seasons he got even better, putting up 20 points per game and becoming one of the better shooting guards in the league. Though he was also known to be a hothead, but also a guy that could give you 30 points a night. And of course, every now and then he would also run into Michael Jordan. But Ryder knew exactly what to do. Stay cool and not talk trash. Yeah. You know, Mike would, would, would have, you know, you better bring your game. Mm -hmm. I you and Mike in his tonight. prime. Like, oh yeah, Mike in his prime. We went at him toe to toe, head to head. Mike I knew, yeah, him. of course. Mike was like, man, you never back down. You're strong. <laughs> yeah. The cops, I love you. Yeah. God, you put me in his all-star games. Him and Mike love me, you know, as far That's as my way I used to come. But Mike best player in the world. As you probably know, the 1995-96 season was a very historic one. Not only did the 72 and 10 Bulls destroy basically everybody, but it was just the most fun season probably in NBA history, at least to me. But every once in a while there were some teams and especially some players who didn't want to give up without a fight. And that's exactly where Isaiah Ryder comes in. In the 1996 NBA seasons, the Timberwolves were finally a team with a young and talented roster. With Christian Leitner, Tom Gugliotta, Isaiah Ryder, and a rookie named Kevin Garnett. That was actually a core of players that someday could be huge. Still in that season, they were far away from being a playoff team. But the one thing they really liked to do was to upset the good teams. So that was exactly what they were trying to do with the Chicago Bulls. A couple of years ago, Isaiah Ryder came out with this story, and it's a little bit different than he says, but let's have a look. Tell, tell us about when you and Garnett served Michael Jordan, though. <laughs> oh, okay, mm -hmm. Onyx, okay, I see him being a man for your man yeah, prepped something up. Happened. Your yeah, man yeah, prepped yeah, up, yeah, okay. Hear about so you and KG served Mike? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I would get my 20s, 24, 25, 29. Yeah. I yeah. don't get his 30, 32, 35, you make him mad 40. He never got 40 on me, but he did get 35, let's see. I mean, yeah, money. You know, I try to keep him down to 25, 26, his average, anything over that. Okay. You know, right? And I had played against Mike three times head up. So KG had never seen me play against Mike. Yeah. So we're in the game, 
and I got about 24 going into the fourth quarter. Let's talk about each team for a second. First of all, Minnesota is coming off a 37-point shellacking at Seattle. They're not that bad a team. On the injury front, Isaiah Ryder will start tonight for the Timberwolves, but he has been hurting with the flu, didn't participate in the team shoot-around today, so he could have limited minutes. Now, the game that Isaiah Wright is talking about was on the 16th of February in 1996. The Bulls obviously being the best team in the league, looking forward to have the record of 72-10. and 10. The Minnesota Timberwolves, on the other hand, just came from a 36-point loss against the Seattle Supersonics. So nobody was giving the Timberwolves a chance, but Isaiah Wright was on fire, making shot after shot after shot. Comes out. Shot clock at nine. Side is clear. Watch out. He'll take another three. Tony, good show help by Tony. Ryder at the free throw line. Ball fakes. Comes inside to the left hand. Couldn't get it. Scotty lost it. Ryder inside. Now Martin to go baseline. Ryder for a wide open three. Nice three by Isaiah Ryder. He's you got to know that's what he wants to do. Yeah. Mike got about 18, 19. Okay. So I'm quiet. I always stay quiet when I play my I didn't talk too much. I yeah. mean, if he talked to me, I was going to talk back, but he never talked crazy to me. We just played. But I never talked crazy to him at all, right? Yeah, yeah. You knew better. So <laughs> we come out of the fourth quarter. KG like, man, keep going at his ass. Serve him. He can't guard you. He can't crazy. da 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 with you. He can't mess with you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was quiet. I'm looking at him like, just chill. Because Mike was literally right there. And hey, KG Scott. was hype. Like and KG's, he's super hype. Yes. You know, loud. I'm a super hype. So we vibe, right? But I'm like, chill. He's like, man. He looked at me like, man, he can't guard you. Keep going at him. I'm like, man, chill. He's like, what? I was like, he's standing right here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, and KG was like, I don't care. Keep going at him. Wow, Too strong that. for this dude, man. Too wow. strong for him. I was like, wow. So Mike looked at me, looked at KG, looked at me, looked at KG. I was like, Mike, he don't know the rules of the game, man. He's just a young puppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Mike was like, okay, you talking? You know what I mean? I said, man, he don't know the rules of the game. Yeah. Mike looked at him again like, okay. Looked at me like, okay. I said, what you looking at me like that for, right? <laughs> Came into the, went to the fourth quarter, man. That man got about 17 quick. Mm. Mad, looking at KG, looking at me, looking at KG. Motivating. He, 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 man, he, I said, look, I got to guard that man. He shipped it to Michael for a three. Yes. Yes, Rodman with the big tip out to Mike. Mike's got 20 now. And the next transfer up baseline. Oh, a little tricky trick, and they need a timeout. Wow. Bulls have put a run together to start this second half. Is that a lie? Jordan had 17 points in seven minutes in the third quarter. And even though Isaiah Ryder was putting up a great performance himself, the Bulls won the game and Isaiah Ryder was really frustrated by Michael Jordan's performance. Don't believe me? Have a closer look. Kicks it over to MJ. Fade away jumper from oh, oh. I said, look, I gotta call that man. Not you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mind you, KG was having a great game on Scotty. We both, I mean, KG had about 30, I had about 28. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we was getting it. It's amazing. But KG didn't understand that we don't talk to Mike like that. No, we don't we gas don't, him we up. Don't, don't, don't gas don't him talk. up. No, At least no. I guard that man. Right. Go talk to Scotty or whoever you want. Well, you said the rules. He didn't know the rules. He didn't know the rules. 
All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to support my channel, please check out my Patreon account. I'm always very appreciative for every support I get. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.